Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I am showing you how you can set up the Power BI table position, size and layer order with a precise option or precise settings that you want. So I will show you these settings how you can do that but before that a quick information that this sheet where I am keeping all of my Power BI tutorial is present in the description so that you can easily search any tutorial and jump to that tutorial using this link which is given right in front of that. That way it will be easy for you to find any video and view it directly without going through a lot of videos, a lot of searching on my channel. Alright, with that let's go to the Power BI. Alright, so here we are in the Power BI and this is a table which I have created as you can see. And let me just expand this so that table is visible to you properly. Okay, now we will set its settings with absolute position and size. So for that, we need to come here in the format option. Make sure the table is selected and then come in the format section. And to do the position and sizing, you need to come into the general. And as you can see, you have the option to specify the X position. So let's say I want this to be 100. So you can see that X position or the table is shifted towards right on the based on the position we specified. Similarly, let's say I want this to be on 50 position. Then as you can see, it has shifted 50. Or if you just want 40, let's say with your other alignment table, that's what you want to keep it, then you can keep it 40 as well. Similarly, you can specify width. Like for example, you want 500, you can keep the 500 or you need something very very precision like 478 then you can even have that also height is something you can precisely set so let's keep it 400 or even less than that maybe 380 so yeah that way you can even adjust the height and finally what you have is the maintain layer order this is basically in those scenarios where you have options like uh, whether you are bringing this to forward or sending it backward and you want the table to maintain its layer based on whatever settings that you are doing so that in the front end when you are publishing your application it is basically following it is or it is basically maintaining the layer order based on what you have set and uh, for your users uh, who basically need the help from the text to speech software or those software which basically uh, tell about what object that they are seeing here on this section then there is the software which basically speaks the text that this is a table or this is a sales and profit table by product subcategory so that way that, that particular software is basically going to help those users who need this special assistance where they need to know about the table. Okay, so that's mainly I wanted to show you about how you can specify these settings and that way you can, you know, very precisely set the position and size and ordering based on the needs that you want. So that's about it and I'll meet in the next video with a new topic.